Hello, my name is Paula Petrie. I'm a diabetes nurse educator at the Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. In this video, you'll be learning how to safely store diabetes supplies. Proper storage of diabetes supplies can help ensure that insulin keeps its potency and that blood glucose readings are accurate. First, let's discuss how to store insulin vials or bottles. Insulin vials that are in use can be stored either at room temperature or in the refrigerator. A vial is considered in use or open if the top has been pierced with the needle. Most types of insulin vials in use are good for 28 days. The only exception to this is Levomir and Novolin N insulins, which are good for 42 days. New insulin vials that have not yet been opened should always be stored in the refrigerator. Unopened insulin is good at refrigerated temperatures until the expiration date, which is usually stamped at the top of the box and on the vial itself. Storage of insulin pens and cartridges differs slightly from vials in that insulin pens in use should always be stored at room temperature. The number of days you can use an insulin pen will depend on which pen you use. To find out the recommended storage time for the pen or cartridge you use, ask your pharmacist, check the package insert, or check the manufacturer's website. As with insulin vials, insulin pens that are new or have not been used should be stored in the refrigerator where they are good until the stamped expiration date. The following rules apply for all insulin. First, insulin should never be allowed to freeze. If your insulin does freeze, it should be thrown away. Note that the coldest part of your refrigerator is towards the back, so it may be safer to store your insulin towards the front or in the door. Second, keep insulin away from direct heat or sunlight. If you must take insulin with you for a prolonged time outside in the heat, consider storing it in an insulated bag to avoid letting it reach temperatures above 86 degrees. Third, throw away any expired insulin vials and pens, even if there is insulin left in them. Lastly, if the appearance of your insulin looks different, do not use it. Now let's discuss general storage guidelines for blood glucose testing supplies and strips. Test strips work best if stored at room temperature. In general, they should avoid being exposed to extremes in temperature. A good rule of thumb is to consider if it feels too cold or hot for you, it's probably too cold or hot for your supplies. Always keep the lid of the strips closed when not in use. Bottles that remain open to light and air can dry out the strips. Don't separate strips into other containers. Always keep them in the bottle they were originally packaged in as it is designed to keep the strips fresh. Don't use strips that are past the expiration date stamped on the bottle. And no matter how convenient it sounds, never store insulin or testing supplies in the car. Even on a cool day, if the sun is shining, temperatures can exceed 150 degrees in the interior of the car. The only thing you should store in your car is a fast sugar source to treat low blood sugar that can withstand temperature extremes. Lastly, a few words about caring for your syringes, pen needles, and lancets. Syringes, pen needles, and lancets do not have temperature requirements and can be kept anywhere it's convenient. If you have small children in the house, store all needles out of their reach. Never place loose needles and other sharps in the trash or recycling bins, and never flush them down the toilet. This puts other people at risk of being harmed. Needles are best disposed of in a designated sharps container, which can be purchased at most pharmacies. At the least, used needles should be placed in a thick plastic container, like a used detergent bottle, before being disposed of. Sharps disposal guidelines and programs vary depending on where you live. Check with your local trash removal services or health department to see which methods are available in your area. I hope you have found this information helpful. Remember, you can always refer to the manufacturer's guidelines for any detailed storage and expiration information. 